Taurus, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 2nd through the 8th of December. What's going on with you guys in this beginning of December? Just tune in to the Taurian energy. What's going on with you? It's a bull. Get three more shuffles. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get two more shuffles. What's going on with the Torian energy here? It matters of love. Let's get one last shuffle. Okay. That's it. Ace of Coins at the bottom of the deck, ladies and gents. The Emperor. The Four of Coins. I was going to say, as soon as I saw the Ace of Coins, I was like, somebody wants a ring. And then we got the Four of Wands. Oh, shit. And then we got the Ten of Swords. This doesn't have to be entirely negative, as a matter of fact. Okay. Ten of Swords, one plus zero equals one. So this just may be a redo in regards to attaining some sort of stability and order. Whoops, wrong, wrong side. <laughs> wrong side. The Emperor, ladies and gents. So authority, order, and structure. A new beginning seems to be upon the horizon here, ladies and gents. Let's see how this goes. I want to get straight to the kill. All right, what's going on? Ooh, look at this. This is most certainly a relationship that has a sense of history, but this can also entail a past life connection with the Six of Cups and the Empress coming out simultaneously. Fascinating. So we're tuning into a soulmate relationship, all right? Talk to me about this Ten of Swords atrocity. There's been a lot of stagnancy here. I feel something has been dragged out more than it should have. Tell you that. Somebody here was taking their sweet old time and bringing about a new opportunity here with the Ace of Coins. I wonder if you can see that. Someone here is, um, like I said, has taken their sweet old time to come forward and bring about change within the situation. And the reason why, Taurus, is because this individual was wounded. Flat out. That's what I'm saying. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. So it's like something ensued, a very negative ending, and it was only dragged out because someone was so fucking wounded, Nine of Wands, I mean, the Nine, Hermit, could have been a Virgo, they were so wounded that they procrastinated. Maybe they didn't procrastinate, maybe they needed time. What is this individual's state, internal state, emotional state now? The judgment, so they're waking up, they're revitalizing themselves, okay? They're coming out of the fucking dungeons of Mordor. So what's going on here with the Emperor? Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Because the Emperor wants to come forward and invest into the situation. Three of Coins, they want to see eye to eye. They want to collaborate, cooperate. The Justice, they want to bring harmony, Libra energy, they want to bring harmony, they want to establish peace, as difficult as it may be. This individual is serious, all right? They're serious about facing the devil. They're serious about facing the darkness that is present in this relationship, and they're willing to face it head on. In order to bring balance, this is an individual that is willing to do the necessary in order to have a positive turn of events. This is an individual that has experienced someone here that has learned from karmic experiences. Wise fellow, this emperor is. What's going on here with this four of wands? Three of swords. So this beautiful union has unresolved emotional baggage. You guys aren't entirely seeing eye to eye at this time and there's still an emphasis on emotional invulnerability so you guys have yet to entirely open up to one another and ace of cups have that brand new beginning but this is exactly where it's headed ladies and gentlemen it's headed towards a new beginning is what i'm seeing here towards excuse i need a break okay What's going on with Taurus and what is Taurus's energy towards a person? Mind you, you could have been that emperor for all I know. Two, three, two more. Talk to me about Taurus's energy towards their person. Okay, Taurus, let's see what's going on. Six of Cups, you're very nostalgic about this individual, aren't you? And the more you think about this person, the more you're inclined to come forward and reconcile the conflict. Well, there you are, Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands. So Taurus, it really seems as if you are coming forward here and facing 
all this discombobulation, the shit show, let's just call it a shit show. You're facing the shit show and you're coming forward with the intention of having some sort of progress is what I'm seeing here, Taurus. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Talk to me. Talk to me about this Knight of this Knight of Cups. What's going on here with this Knight of Cups? The Star card. So, Taurus, you see, you foresee a future. You're using the faculty of your imagination to envision something that you want to see, something that you want to see and manifest into reality. And this is all encompassed by emotional exchange, emotional communication. At least someone here is taking initiative to come forward and apologize. Or maybe accept an apology or simply open up the lines of emotional communication. Taurus, good on you. Or this could be coming towards you, ladies and gents. We're going to see right now how this matches up with your person's energy. But this could be coming to you and just putting you in a world of fucking shit. All right. That's a possibility. Nevertheless, the most prominent energy regarding the foundation of this motion is progress. What's going on here with the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The hangman. Because someone here doesn't have the clarity or the decisiveness to take action upon what it is that they actually want. Because they're confused. Exactly. Ace of Swords. That's exactly what they're lacking. They're lacking clarity. However, this clarity may come to this individual through communication. So maybe when someone communicates, this person gets the clarity they need in order to really move this forward. That's exactly what I figured. That's my cue. Ace of Wands. That's, that's, that's my message. Saying yes. Yes, buddy. You're correct. So, there's action taking place. And this is being compelled toward reciprocity. Six of coins. Reciprocity equal give and equal take is what I'm seeing here, Taurus. So, let's take a look at your person's energy. Let's see what's going on with them. Going on with Taurus's person. Let's get two more. What is Taurus's individual's energy towards Taurus? Oh my god, did I? I fucked that up. I fucked it up. I need two more shovels. I said, I ain't drinking no more Americanos. They're, they're fucking weak as hell. Alright? Disappointed. I'm going to start ordering triple espressos. Give me a triple shot, please. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's going on here. Taurus is individual. What is their energy towards Taurus? That's it. They're overburdened. They're having an awakening. And they're wounded as hell coming towards you. However, they're being strong. They're being disciplined in controlling their feelings, controlling their emotions. They're overwhelmed, but... They're trying to deal with it. They're trying to cope with it. God damn. Ten of Swords? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on this soul. Fuck that. If this individual deserves to suffer, may the Lord put them down and crush them until they get the fucking point and learn. That's exactly what I see happening. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on the fucking crushing that it is bringing upon this soul. God damn. Call me Pastor Wolf, man. <laughs> oh, I forgot. God is love and light, huh? There is no wrath. Even though the creation is filled with annihilation and destruction. Love and light. What's going on here with the judgment? Mind you, <clears throat> if such, if the world, if creation was love and light, then challenges, adversity, pain, difficulty would mean Satan. And to Christians, many times it is. It's like, oh, many people blame Satan. Oh my God, I'm going through such a hard time. It's the fucking devil. Are you fucking retarded or what? Are you fucking retarded or what? What do you mean? This is part of the grand orchestration. This is part of the grand creation. It's like the light and the dark. It's like man and a woman. It's like a proton and an electron. A positive charge and a negative charge. They're interdependent. They're opposites and interdependent for harmony. And we as beautiful creations are here to learn about these things. So, lucky for you, lucky for you, you are a human and a giant in the spiritual realm. Unfortunately, that you have not realized, but maybe you will. 
if not sometime in the far, far, far future. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here. I see stress. I see sleepless nights. I see a lot of wounds in this individual. God damn. But this individual is coming to the realization, or rather the judgment or the decision making of breaking silence and coming forward. That's what I'm seeing here. Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Moving along. Nine of Wands. Do we have to look at how fucking wounded this individual is? Do we? They're trying to override their wounds. They're trying to think with their mind over their head. What? With their mind over their heart. They're trying to think with their mind over their heart, ladies and gents. The Hermit. I feel like this individual, you're dealing with someone that's emotionally unavailable. I'll tell you that. Okay, they're emotionally unavailable because they're so goddamn wounded. But, you know, they're making progress here. They're definitely in the midst of closing a cycle out. Whatever it is that you guys went through, whatever sort of pain and struggle they're dealing with, they're closing that out, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Look what we got here. Look what we got here, buddy. They're closing that out. Outstanding. Outstanding, Cross Watcher. It seems that you have learned a very valuable lesson through this endeavor. And Taurus, you were a catalyst, a catalyst of destruction to some negative qualities or lesson, whatever you want to say, buddy, but God damn, you brought upon destruction. You brought upon destruction upon this creature, ladies and gentlemen. And now they're having to find their strength for what? To come back towards you. Look at that. Could be dealing with a cancer. Nevertheless, whomever it is that you're dealing with has a hard time dealing with these type of things. I'll tell you that. They may not be the most emotionally mature individual. Nevertheless, Taurus, you got somebody here that's going to want to woo you. Someone that seems to be wounded. Someone that seems to be emotionally unavailable. Someone that seems to be having a very, very, very difficult time with whatever happened. Just the FYI. In the extended, I will be boring deeper into this individual's mind, into this individual's emotions. I want to look into this individual's perception of you. How is it that they view you? What future does this individual foresee given their current state? What actions will they be taking towards you from the second through the eighth, as well as the near future? But before we go there, I'm going to leave you with some a message insight. This is not advice. It can very much be advice. But this is more so insight. It's just something that you, you know, I'm just going to lift the veil for you just a little bit. Let's see. Let's get two more shuffles. A message here that they need to hear. Let's get a message that Taurus needs to hear. Something easy. Something easy to digest. Okay, okay. I don't know why I get the sense that this is associated with your person here. All right. Taurus, all I got to tell you, your person is depressed. Okay? They're depressed as can be. They're in a transitional phase where they're coming out of this depression. This individual is spying on you. All right? They want victory. And the reason why, Taurus... Is because they got a tremendous amount of feelings for you. All right. Furthermore, this individual wants more than just giving you feelings. It seems as if they want a relationship. They want to take this the distance. But let's keep it real. There's a fucking milestone to accomplish before such thing takes place. All right. So with that said, Taurus. I don't know why that message came forward. Maybe you need to be compassionate or maybe you were feeling a bit insecure in regards to where your person stood. That's what I see. I see a lot of toxicity. I see a lot of attachment. I see a lot of relentlessness to be with you. Look, the devil appears once again. Speak of the devil, ladies and gentlemen. I'm taking this to the extended. If you're interested in boring deeper into this individual, I'll see you guys in the link down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.